What's going on, YouTube land? This is Rico Chappelle, and you're talking live with Rico. It is 5 30 in the morning because I had to get up and early and tell y'all the story. I ain't been I ain't came to y'all in a long time because I'm gonna tell you the problem is it's hard for me to download files. Um in LA, it's just weird. This thing is not working out, and I'm I'm tired as hell. But I gotta tell y'all, last night I was at a friend house, um, and I met this guy Memorial Day weekend there with him, but it was just like, hey, hi and bye. You know, I I did notice we have the same features, but it was just, it is what it, it is. It was what it was or whatever. And so we was talking last night. And he was like, I'm from um, Oklahoma. And I was like, any black people from Oklahoma? And we were just joking. I was like, you know what? I can live in Oklahoma. I can live on a, in a country with a big porch. It's just where I'm from. Uh, you know, I'm from Chattanooga, from the country. He was just like, you from where? Chattanooga. He said, I got family in Chattanooga. I said, shit, well, we may look alike. We may be some candy because, shit, we damn near look alike. And he was like, no, my mama's from um, from Chattanooga. I'm for real. I was like, well, what's her last name? Because I may know her. And he was just like, it's Bennett. And I said, it's not a lot of Bennett's. I said, that's my family name. I said, that's my dad's brothers. And, so, you know, no shade to my grandmama, but she was a hoe, honey. So she had multiple baby daddies. And um, so my back in the day, they used to pronounce my daddy's name either Chappelle or Chapel. I just took on the name Chappelle because it sounds spe you, bitch. It just sounds special. So I took on the name Chappelle. And so he was just like, is your daddy so-and-so? And I was just like, yeah. He was like, hold up. You from Atlanta and you do clothes, right? He was like, my mom was telling me about you and da-da-da-da-da. And I said, no, what? so what do you do? And he was just like, I am I work for Justin Beaver. And I was like, my mama told me about you. And I'm going to tell you, my mama always be like, oh, this your cousin. Because when I, when I did television for the first time, I had like all these cousins randomly jump out that was my cousin. I'm like, if I didn't grow up with you from the ages, we're just going to say ages from 11 to 18. Girl, I don't even mess with you. I don't even know you. So I was like, whatever. And um, I got on, and I actually remember his mom. I remember where he stayed, the, the store that, because we stayed around the corner. So it was so like crazy because this guy, he was slim built, he was light skinned, same eyes, light brown eyes, same nose, same lips. I'm gonna see, can I put a picture up on this video? And we were just staring at each other and we were just talking, and the friends that was around us were just so amazed. Literally, he lives down the street from me here in LA. Um, and we was talking about our family. And I'm gonna tell you, I always wonder where my male pattern baldness came from. Cause he was bald. And I was like, oh my, all his brothers and, oh, no, I was gonna say sisters. All his brothers was bald. And I get it. And I'm gonna tell you the best thing about meeting a cousin for the first time. Now I get to find out from my daddy's side of the family, like what goes on? Is there prostate cancer? Is there is um is there some type of uh, illness when you get older because I never knew these things and my daddy is healthy like but pretty much we do have a healthy family so really kind of don't have to worry about it but I still want to get checked out and stuff um so like what all do we talk about so I'm gonna tell you on my dad's side of the family we got killers and murderers and I kind of just kind of, I just disassociated myself with that side of the family because of all the drama that goes on. And then plus my sexuality, yada, yada, yada. And I'm like, you know what? I don't got time to deal with this foolishness. So I just kind of distanced myself. But I'm telling you, meeting him for the first time and he was showing me all his brothers and sisters and he looked like the, they look the bloodline from my daddy's side of the family because we all have that. All the men in our family is, is are gorgeous, and we was just like, oh, um, we were just looking at each other like we was like little zoo animals. And um, he's a singer, and he was explaining to me that like a lot of the men in our family sings, and I was like, yeah, my daddy owned the club. He wanted me to go to New York and do Broadway because my daddy wanted me to be a singer, an entertainer, really, really, really bad. He was like, don't miss your calling. And, you know, my dad supports anything I absolutely do. So I, and that, it, what was so liberating on my father's side of the family, me and my brother were the only, like, boys that I knew about. And like I'm, ten, I'm about nine or ten years older than dude, and um, 
And it was just so like weird just to see another dude from my side of the family that looked like me, that knew my grandma, knew my dad dad like I talked to his mom and knew my mom and just understand like the family bloodline it was so liberating so you guys I'm trying to put a picture up if not go on my Instagram and check it out um he's absolutely gorgeous he's a thicker version than he's a little bit thicker than me a little bit bigger than me but pretty much you can tell from my eyes our nose our mouth he's fucking talented like I heard this man sing and I was like, this nigga's a part of my family. Well, I'm actually a kind of part of his. Well, well, I guess we're a part of the family or whatever. Um, the bloodline. But it's so freaking amazing to meet a family member. And I'm going to tell you, I'm a person that will believe in, like, when I shake your hand, that gift of discernment. Like, I shook his hand the first time. I was like, oh, he cool people. You know, it's cool, whatever. But that man is genuinely, he's a genuinely good person. And I actually can see myself. Hanging out with him. He's got an album coming out. I said, you know what? We need to work on your video. Get this shit on out there. Get your shit popping. But um, thank you guys for listening. And I'm so excited. And I'm going to take, I'm going to keep y'all posted. Because if this nigga get crazy, I'm going to have to jack his ass. Wow. <laughs> so thank you guys for listening. And hopefully I can get this picture so you can see um, another version of me. I'm so freaking excited. It is ridiculous. So stay tuned. I'll keep y'all posted. Bye.